you should familiarize yourself with the Easy Interactive Toolbars. We're going to go over some of the basic functions so you have a better idea of the things you can do with your projector. I'm going to begin by opening up the Easy Interactive Tools software. I do that by going through the Start menu of my PC. Easy Interactive Tools. When I open up Easy Interactive Tools, the very first thing I see is a home screen. The home screen allows you to do certain functions such as select desktop annotation where you would write over your image on the PC. You can select a whiteboard mode where you just get a white screen and use as a virtual whiteboard. You can open files that you've already created. You can open your most recent files. You can also attach to a document camera and open that interface by using this dashboard. Other applications that are frequently used, such as Excel or other programs, will, will appear here as well, and you can open them using the home screen. Once you're done selecting the home screen, then you use these other toolbars to actually do the control of the projector and the annotation. To create a new job session, press New and start using the tools of the program. I select it New and it brings out a whiteboard. With this, I can get using my toolbar that's located to the right side of the image. I can move my toolbar from the right to the left by using this arrow. To write or draw on the screen, you should first select the thickness of the line. These are the different thicknesses. Once you select the line thickness, you can then select a color. In this case, I chose red. Also, you can insert any shape you want to use by using the Shapes tool. You can do squares, circles, triangles, filled or unfilled. In this case, I will just pick a circle. And I draw a circle onto the board. If I want to delete something, I can do so by pressing the clear screen button right here. The second part of the toolbar is used to access additional features of the projector. For example, I can use the press the home screen to bring me back to my home screen, which I can then close. I can choose the save icon to save my files. I can use this toolbox to open up other features within the software, such as a spotlight tool. When I select the spotlight, then I can highlight certain portions of what I want to show. I can also change the shape and the size of my spotlight. When I want to close the spotlight, I just hit the red X at the top of the screen. In the same way, I have a screen shade tool. If I press the screen shade, it has now shaded the image, which I can reveal at my own pace to the class or the audience. When I'm ready to close the screen shade, I hit the X in the top corner. You can also select from other things like printer. If you have uh, some content that you want to print and you are connected to your PC, which is connected to the printer, you can select the print icon and print directly from the screen. You can use the settings toolbar to make changes to some of the preferences in the toolbar. For example, you can choose the size of your toolbar, normal or small. You can choose where you want it to display on the left or the right hand side. You can change the shape of the spotlight from circular to square. And you can also uh, choose where you're going to put your command toolbar to the top or the bottom. And then lastly, as part of your pen, you have a, a button on the side and you can choose what that button does. It can open the toolbar, it can change to mouse mode, or it can toggle between a pen and an eraser. As mentioned, we can also save our work. So for example, if I'm writing on the image like this and then I want to save my work, I just touch the save icon. Once I touch the save icon, a virtual uh, keyboard appears, at which point I can name my file. I can also come down here and select the type of file that I want to name it as. It could be a JPEG, a bitmap, a PNG, a PDF, or Easy Interactive Tools, which is part of the toolbar itself. So this allows you to save files and then open them and continue to working on, working on them at a later time. And so I would use the virtual um, 
keypad to name my file, and then once I have, I would select save, and then my file is saved to the hard drive. A very useful feature of this interactive projector is that two people can use the interactive pens at the same time. So I can come over here and select one, and I can select the red pen, and have someone else come over and select the blue pen. And then together, at the same time, we can annotate onto the projected image. When we're done with our annotations, we can simply select the clear screen. You'll notice that as I toggle, I take the control of the toolbar. When she toggles, she can grab control of the toolbar as well to the left side and then select her pen. So with the dual pen functionality, both teachers and students can work in the same space.